Today is Saturday. I just did some bed laundry and it is so freaking hot today. Um, a couple updates. Donnie painted that wall. You already know that. But he hung up that TV and it looks really good. I just watered all my plants today and I'm editing last week's vlog. That's Donnie's old mattress. I don't know what he's gonna do with it. Yeah, and then I actually went and got my sofa reupholstered. So Donnie pulled down this like Eames chair and he wants to reupholster it, but we're trying to get a quote on it because the guy who did my um, couch, he's doing it for really cheap. So I emailed him like photos to see what he can do. Anyway, Ian's on this motorcycle trip with the boys, so I am going to hang out with the girls. I'm gonna go to Long Beach, see what Val's doing, and then probably go to Danielle's house in Laguna Beach tonight and then see what she's doing. We're probably gonna do mass and play with her cats and whatnot. Let's do an outfit of the day. Today I'm wearing an American Apparel Tri-Blend Tee. I own like five of these. I wear them with everything. They're like basically my white t-shirt. And I've had this particular one for over like since I was 18, so almost 10 years now. Um, and then I'm wearing my Illustiva Porta Servo glasses, and the skirt is from Forever 21. I know, it's not good to shop at Forever 21, but I saw it in the window, and then I just really like it, so I got it. Danielle actually bought the same skirt, so we'll see if she's wearing it today. And then the shoes I'm wearing are from Mishaniano. They're just like teal slides. I wear these all the time, and I really need a tan. My legs are really pale. And Wednesday just ran like a mile, or maybe more than a mile, and she's so tired, look at her. She's just so tired. So Donnie runs her every morning and she loves it, she just goes crazy. And then by the time she gets back after every run, she's just exhausted, like breathing super heavy, and then she'll just come in, drink a boatload of water, and just collapse, and just like totally breathe, super heavy, lying flat down on the ground for like, I don't know, 10 minutes or so, and it was the cutest thing. And she's so happy because her tail is just like wagging everywhere. But then after that, he normally leaves to go to work or whatever, and she's just super bummed out. So now she's going through her depression phase, or maybe she's just really tired. I don't know, I'm pretty sure she's pretty upset. I mean, the Grand Prix is here, huh? Oh, so we're in my old apartment building, and this is Val. And this is her new apartment. So she used to live on the same floor as me on the second floor. And then she moved to the third floor, apartment number 33. Yes, I do. So when are you gonna do an apartment tour for us? You can do it whenever you want, Christine. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> I can't do it right now because I don't have my mic on me. <laughs> God, it smells really nice in here too, but it's a two bedroom, so you live with your brother? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Um, do you get the bigger room? Does he get the bigger room? I get the bigger room. I do, but it's not, they're pretty much the same size. Okay. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, they're not that. I thought that, that this building was just studios, at, or one bedrooms at yeah. first, but I guess. It's, his room is like, well, his room is so I mean, I'll like show you a little bit. But, yeah. yeah, but <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna hang out today, and then I don't know what we're gonna do. We're drinking wine right now. Okay. Val. Hi. Where are we going? Number nine, or the socialists. Or the socialists. We'll see, we'll see. The only Bammy's place in Long Beach. I'm, I'm kind of joking right now. <laughs> Hiccuping. Cause we're, we're wearing the same okay. skirt. <laughs> Should I walk with you? We're wearing the same skirt. We are wearing the same skirt. Just Isn't it cute? Twins. You look really sexy in it. She looks really sexy in it. Look at <laughs> She looks very, very, very. I have hiccups right now. I don't know why. I don't know why. Finally. Oh, the phone's like, can you noise for half a second? <laughs> it's still working. I woke up this morning in Long Beach on Val's bed and it was just kind of an awkward, awful night because um, I came over to Val's house at around three to hang out with some of my friends in Long Beach who I haven't seen in a while. Um, and I brought over a bottle of wine that I had already had two glasses from and then, so Val and I split the rest of the bottle, which is like maybe four more glasses of wine um, so two each, and we drank from around three 
to maybe around four and then we went downtown and met up with my friend Ethan and then had one more glass of wine. So I had two glasses of white wine and then one glass of Riesling. And this is in a period of like maybe two hours from three to five. And then we went and took an Uber from downtown to um, maybe just like a couple miles up down to 4th Street. There's this pho restaurant that um, my friend Danielle and I like to go to and she happened to be in Long Beach too. So I just thought, wow, that'd be great. Just like hang out with everyone, get pho. And um, I was starving, so I just totally ate everything super fast. Danielle and I split a sandwich and we split a huge pho. So I was really full, feeling good, and then we everyone went back to um, Ethan's house because he lives like literally right across the street from number nine. And um, I was feeling all right and everything. And then Nick texted us, he's like, hey, go to Fourth Street Wine, which is like right across the street again, um, because he's there with Lindsay. So um, we walked over, I didn't drink anything, and. Keep in mind, my last drink was at five o'clock. We went to the bar at around seven, and then they all drank. I just had a glass of water. And then um, a couple hours later, at around nine, everyone started to head back towards downtown, towards uh, Nick and Lindsay's house, because there's a bar called the V Room, and everyone wanted to go there. And you have to keep in mind, Val was with me the entire time, so she was drinking the, the same amount, and then more than I was. By the time we got to Nick, Nick and Lindsay's house, I felt so sick and I just felt totally dizzy so I like just went and lay down on their couch and I felt so bad because really I was supposed to only go out and then meet up with Nick and Lindsay and like maybe hang out with Val and stuff like that and if I didn't do any drinking my night wouldn't have been so fucked up. What had happened was that I got so drunk from just those three glasses of white wine that I, um, I just couldn't stand up so I laid down on the couch and then Danielle was with me and then Nick and Lindsay, Val and Ethan went out to get a drink at V Room and then they came back around like 10 and then Danielle was about to go home back to Laguna Beach. I was supposed to go with her and we were supposed to have like a ladies night in, like do masks, nails and like, I don't know, just like have a lot of fun. I packed everything in my car as well and I felt so bad that I just felt so drunk after just three glasses of wine which is so unlike me. Um, so I stood up to get ready to go and I think everyone was like, nah, that, like, she can't be that drunk off of just three glasses of wine. I stood up and as soon as I stu stood up, I was like, holy shit, I'm gonna throw up. So I went to the bathroom and normally you would like kneel down and just like totally cover the toilet, yeah? Not me, apparently for some reason I felt that it was okay to just stand above the toilet and just throw up and like literally everything got all over the toilet and it was horrible and Lindsay had to pull, pull back my hair and I felt so bad for everyone who was there. If, if it just, I just felt so bad. Anyway, um, Nick and Lindsay got me a Turkish um, towel which I'm really excited about trying out because I wanted to buy one like a couple summers ago actually. I think Ellie Cherry mentioned it, how she loved it so much and how it gets more absorbent over time. Um, yeah, so I, I was really excited about trying that out, and then they also gave me this like Japanese soap. Anyway, so then instead of going back to Danielle's house that night in Laguna Beach, I ended up going to uh, Val's house to just crash on her couch. But, but when I got there, I was like, I'm gonna go lie down, and I totally laid down her bed, just like kicked out her out of her room basically. So she slept on the couch. I I woke up in the morning and I felt so awful when I found out that she was sleeping on the couch because of me. So stupid. Yeah, this is why I shouldn't drink because I'm not that inconsiderate in real life, I don't think. Anyway, this morning I woke up and I just saw her sleeping on the couch and I was like, oh my god, I'm an awful person. I took a shower, we went to breakfast, I got her breakfast, hopefully she'll forgive me. Um, and then after that we went to, or I went to Lord Windsor to meet up with Nick and Lindsay. Um, to get a coffee or they got coffee I got tea anyway because I'm in Orange County and I built on Danielle last night I am going to Laguna right now to hang out at 11th Moon my old work um, because she's working at the store so uh, I'm gonna go in say hi hang out with her probably use the Wi-Fi over there for a while and then um, just see what they have in the store oh I can give you a store tour too 
it's really cool stuff. It's all the stuff that I um, wear most of my like uniform outfits and stuff. It's all from that store. So it's a lot of like striped shirts from Edith and Miller, base range bras, like really cool stuff. So I'm at the store right now, 11th Moon. Um, Danielle just stepped out to buy us some gelato, so uh, she'll be back in a little bit. All right, let me just give you a quick tour of the store. This is like the giant mirror that everyone loves to stand at. It makes everyone look taller. Um, I guess this is the sale she rack, and they have like Robert Clergy. Um, Dieper Restrepo, Reinhard Plank, that kind of stuff. And then there's all these um, organic by John Patrick slips. Um, a lot of new stuff that I haven't seen because I haven't been here in a little while. And I really love these from Rubber Clergy, these Oxfords. And then Woman by Common Project boots, which everyone needs, just like a classic boot. Um, I like the tan ones because it makes you look taller. And just like a lot of really cool things. I used to work on the site with Gil. Um, oh my god, this is so beautiful. A lot of basics too, which is nice. They always have the best shoes here. Oh, it looks like they started carrying 100 again. Um, this is such a cute swimsuit. This top is so adorable. 100 jeans. I love 100 jeans because they have this little, this little thing right here. Um, and I think it just looks really cool on the butt. I have a pair of like black skinny jeans from them that I really love. Oh my god, striped tee. I have this bra. This is from Base Range. I love this bra so much and I believe it's on the site too. And if it is, then I'll link it down below. Um, this is just the most comfortable bra ever. What's your favorite thing in the store right now? I think it would have to be these shoes. Where are they? What are Where, they? Yeah, who makes them? They're women. Like, oh, women make them from Oh, they're new. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like them. I didn't they're even see them. Nice. I like the color. Here she is, dressing the mannequin. Are you enjoying it? <laughs> okay, so today I didn't really get to do much. I um, went to breakfast, or more like lunch, with Caitlin at Squirrel, and it was so delicious. And then immediately after we ate, we were gonna go shopping and do all this stuff, but then we got really, really tired from eating so much food, so we went back to her house, took a nap, Went to Forever 21 to look for the skirt that I bought last week because she wanted it. Couldn't find it and then we, um, I mean we really didn't get to do much because we were so exhausted. And then when I got home, I was so tired so I just went and took a nap. I don't know why I've been really tired lately. I just sleep an awful lot but I just, I don't know why I'm just, just always really tired. Anyway, I'm burning this candle right here that Heather got me. It's from a company called Let's put a bird on it, and it's apricot and fig, and the wick is like a wooden, I don't know, like a wooden piece, and you just light it, and then, yeah. So I've been burning it for a couple hours now, and I really like it. I just put a video up, it's what, it's in my bag, and then also, for some reason, I was like taking all the stuff out of my car, and then I started setting my, because it's been really warm lately, I started setting my bag for, um, summer like whenever I go to the beach with Ian we like to go to the beach together but I usually always carry like a towel so Nick and Lindsay gave me this Turkish towel and I figured it would be a really good towel to use for the beach and this tote bag that I'm putting all my beach stuff in is um, from this company called you know what I don't really know how to pronounce it just say it right here it's Kello Quiel it's 100% um, organic, and then they are known for like, what do you call it? Like lyrics, song lyrics. So what they do is they write song lyrics on their tote bags, and it's really cute. But they sent me this one with just a bum, and I thought it was hilarious because it's like a, a beach bum, right? So I'm gonna put a towel in there, and then um, some sunblock, and then my swimsuit, my swim top. I just need to get everything together and some like, um, sandals which I have over here salt water sandals so I'm gonna put that in that bag as well just getting that bag made me want to pack up some of my beach stuff oh and I also really need a tan because my legs are kind of pasty so earlier today I bought some sage because I was down um, the street and we went into this like shop that had sage so I've never used this before but I bought it and then I burned it and right away it just reeked of, I don't know what the scent was, but it just like, 
I just didn't like the scent, so I was just like running around the house like, oh my god, where do, how do I put this out? And then I ran outside and I tried to like flick it off to turn it off or to put it out. And I couldn't put it out, so I stuck it in this like we say, like that, and I just shut it, and then now it's finally off. And yeah, I just, what is sage supposed to do? I thought that it was supposed to like smell really good and... I don't know, I heard that it was like for cleansing or whatever. I, for some reason I thought it was gonna smell like incense. I thought it was gonna smell kind of like herbally and nice. And it just totally smelled like weed or like really dank weed. Yeah, so I'm probably gonna go and give that to someone who will appreciate it. Hi, we just had breakfast um, at Kitchen Mouse and Trisha came over this morning and we're wearing the exact same outfit. How funny is that? Funny. I know, we're both like, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so it's been a couple of hours and now I'm back at home. I just filmed a general favorites video and that took a lot longer than I thought. Um, so when I was out with Trisha, we went to breakfast and then we just went down like the main street to see all the shops and whatnot. I wanted to show her around and then I found this desk right here, which is already kind of messy. I already put like a ton of stuff on there, but I found this desk for only... $60, which I thought was like a really good price. I already have another desk in my room, which is, or this table right here, but it doesn't have like all these cool little compartments for your cords and like stuff for your, um, I don't know, like compartments for your desk basically, or organization and whatnot. Yeah, I'm really excited about getting work done on this desk. I really need to clean my room. I know I keep saying that, but my room is always so messy and I've been, here for like seven, eight months now. So I really have no excuse. I really should be fully moved in by now, but I'm just not. I'm really just waiting for Ian to come over because he's supposed to be over by now. I tried texting him and he didn't respond. So I'm a little bit worried. He's on his motorcycle. So hopefully he's fine. I've got another one of these pins because I got one from Madeline a little while ago. I still haven't given it to her. And then this little egg pin is from Kylie. I think it's so cute. And then I got this from Lauren Miranda. I think this is so adorable. And then I found this patch. It's so funny. I think I'm gonna put this on my backpack. He has his own seat. A solo bench. And you have a little armrest too. 